What's good, movers and shakers? I'm 99, checking in for DCBrand99.com. I had a chat with the godfather of GoGo -Go Media, Cato Hammond. He's the founder of Take Me Out to the GoGo -Go Media, who started TMOTRadio.com in January 2011. <laughs> TMOT Radio is now in the middle of a fundraising campaign to begin live programming. DC Brand 99 is on the story. Well, thank you for sitting down with me. This is an honor. So, uh, likewise as well. <laughs> Come on, an honor. The honor is, is I'm honored. <laughs> well, thank you. So, um, what I want to know is, what we want to know, is why is now the time for TMOT Radio to go to a live programming? Well, basically, T-Mod has always been, as we know, T-Mod right now is in its 18th year. Mm -hmm. And um, we've always uh, dabbled in the online radio since 1999. Okay. It was 99, yeah, around 1999. With WTGL. With the WTGL thing. And then, of course, we dabbled in it some more with the morning show stuff that we've done. Mm -hmm. and, um, so, but we officially made it a, a, a official station separate from T-Mot Go Go mm -hmm. magazine um, two years ago mm -hmm. and of course when we did that it was all the shows were pre-programmed mm -hmm. you know, we're in the beginning stage we want to uh, practice the program settings make sure we're running everything straight before we go into live programming okay. so you know two years of running that way with, with you know great shows uh, Dwayne Lee's um, um, The Business and you had mm -hmm. the adverbs and um, Kalasia and them, and you had uh, Mike and them with the uh, the know it alls. Mm -hmm. uh, quite quite a whole bunch of uh, awesome shows. Mm -hmm. You know, very quality type uh, programming, and um, and they were going great. But you know, the biggest thing is always being able to, at all points, connect with your right. audience, mm -hmm. and that whole being able to connect live in real time with the audience is the thing that uh, I wanted to go into the next phase with this. So this is just another phase of the growth of TMOT as a whole. It's the mm -hmm. whole TMOT media thing. Okay. We went to the pre-recorded programming now and we were successful with that. Great, great mm -hmm. listening audience. And now it's time to take it a step further because we've taken it even more uh, serious and bigger and wider mm -hmm. uh, for the live program. That's the reason for it. Okay. So. So once you reach your goal from the fundraising, do you have a studio facility ready, or how is that going to work? Well, no, we're, we're going to run this thing, uh, the TMI Radio, we're going to be running live programming, but they're going to be done um, what is called remote, Okay. meaning that we're going to be setting up DJ seats. What, what DJ seats are, let me explain that first. Mm -hmm. What DJ seats are is... First of all, we have a mother station. Mm -hmm. The mother station will be run, and that will, will house the whole Sam Broadcasting Network. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, let's say, for example, if you had a show yourself, you know, um, and let's say your show, and, you know, we <laughs> talk about that as well. And let's say you do your show on however you, whenever you want to do, mm -hmm. Thursdays, 4 o'clock or whatever. Mm -hmm. You could be able to tap in. You would have the software. You would log in to the mother's board with a special code mm -hmm. for your DC, DJ seat, okay. your specific seat. Mm -hmm. And you would have all the access to all the music you want to play. Mm -hmm. um, you would have access to be able to receive, um, it, you'd be set up to be able to receive phone calls during your show. Um, and most likely the calls will be through Skype. Okay. You know, people will be calling from their landline to your Skype. You can receive calls that way. So it's be, it's easier that way. It's better than trying to house it and, and monopolize it all in one mm -hmm. in one room, in one building, where, you know, if we got, if, if Lucretia, somebody down in, in South Carolina want to run her show, she oh, can run okay. it from South Carolina. Okay. You know, if she happens to be in D.C. one day and she comes up here and she still got to run her show at 6 o'clock, mm -hmm. she got a laptop and she can just uh, log right. right in. If she's right. at an event... And she decided, I want to do my show from this event. She can do it that way. You that's know, that's what's know. awesome. Okay. So that's, yeah. So we want housing. Just the whole step, once again, is about the whole, the way t has been for the past 18 years. 
building, setting up as a platform where people can build their own brands. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's the whole point of all this. To okay. continue building brands. Everybody build their brands and the voice from the culture is stronger. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So when people contribute, we've seen that people get uh, apparel, they get music. Um, for certain levels, you get website design. Mm -hmm. You can also have a commercial or even your own show. Yeah. So I'm interested in, suppose somebody contributes, they want their own show. Right. Do you take anybody's show? Or is that the type of show you would reject something that well, you wouldn't put on there? Well, they're, they're, you know, they're, of course, they can be, you know, shows got to gotta follow the t go go uh, stamp of approval, and what I mean by that is, you know, from what, from where I'm standing, where I'm sitting here, I believe Tmart has a reputation of being quality and um, and respectful. You know, mm -hmm. what I'm saying and and trusted. Our, we call ourselves the trusted, the number one trusted voice of the culture. So, you know, there are some things that 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 I'm that I'm not think I think is irresponsible. Okay. You know, uh, shows degrading women are, uh, are irresponsible. Mm -hmm. So, you know, other people may think, okay, that's a money raiser, but everything that raises money ain't good, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. Okay. And it's going to be up under my way. Okay. Um, so, s anything that's dis disrespectful or degrading to any, any uh, sexual orientation, uh, 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 sex period, uh, women, Race, religion, all that. You just don't want no trash. No trash. Yeah, yeah. No <laughs> trash. You know what I'm saying? No, there won't be no sex lines where you can call and we don't have the latest strippers. And we don't. Okay. We don't do that over on this side of town. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Want to be able to have qual. And when I mean by quality, I want to make sure I make that clear. I'm not saying what I mean by what I call quality is something that's uh. Just want to be uplifting to each and everybody mm -hmm. in some form or fashion, whether it's musically, businessly, spiritually, uh, or just basically culturally. Okay. You know. Okay. We want to be part of the media to help build up our culture, not the me part of the media to kind of, just kind of helping to tear down. Yeah. Appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. That's cool. When we make contributions to the site, we're directed to a place called Indiegogo. Is that a go-go related site? Like, what is what is? Indiegogo? Nah, that's funny. That's funny. You ask that. It, it, it's kind of funny because no, it's not go-go related. Okay. It's just by coincidence. No, they okay. just happened by. Co I kind of wonder how they feel about that too when they saw me set the campaign up with the name T-Mart Go Go. Mm -hmm. But um, um, no, that just happened to be the name. This is a. This is actually the number one crowd fundraising um, site that's out here. I, okay. It, you know, they're even number one over Kickstarter. Okay. For you know, for different specific reasons, mm -hmm. and you know, in choosing which direction to go and what we be, uh, you got a number called GoFundMe, Kickstarter, mm -hmm. Indiegogo. I found Indiegogo to be more towards the field and what we need to be able to successfully get it done. You okay. know, so that's the only reason we choose. They chose that. It just happened to have. You know, but if they love go go, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good with me. Just, I just I had to ask that. Nothing one. to it but to do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you do have a specific goal in mind. Right. So by chance you don't quite reach that goal, then what happens? Um, well, if we don't meet the the, the target goal mm -hmm. amount that we uh, that we're going for, um, that may slow us down mm -hmm. from from reaching what we need to reach. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to stop us from reaching it. You know, even if we get you know uh, uh, fifty percent of that goal, if we reach that, we have enough to at least get things gets things started on the ground. It helps us along the way, you know what I'm saying? It you know, helps make it easier um, and we we'll think of other ways to generate the funds for it. And that was, you know, that was the whole point is just to generate the funds so we can be able to start on it more quickly. We're ready for it. Okay. So we just, it, the, the stuff is going to, the funds are used, going to be used for the equipment we need. So with T-Mot Go Go, the reputation of Take Me Out to the Go Go over the years is how it presents the Washington D.C. urban music culture. Mm -hmm. So those of us who contribute, how can we be sure that this station is going to be unique and just different from the other stations that we know of on the internet? Well, well one main thing is is that th the way I'm seeing it, and, like, and as I stated earlier, T-Mot Go Go has been a platform. You know, there's been a lot of different 
you know, people who who been able to create their brands, mm -hmm. you know, from the platform of Tmart, and that's the way it's going to continue through audio media. And when I say audio media, that was during print, you know, and uh, journalism, um, and with audio media and radio and all that, where people can continue to build their brands and go where they need to go in their past. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest things I'm looking forward to is a program that I'm definitely, I can't wait to implement this, where we're going to be implementing students. You know, mm -hmm. we, you know we're going to set up, we didn't already contact a couple of, uh, uh, locations and sets that we're going to be doing it through uh, different rec centers and and even actually different programs in some schools, okay. where um, we're going to be allowing students to one hand you know have their own program. We're going to go in there. We're going to set up a little uh, program thing for them where they can learn itself. Be and this is a good thing by having DJ seats mm -hmm. so they can come in. They can learn hands on. These are ones who are interested in broadcasting, mm -hmm. and then they can create their brand or just learn what they need to learn to help them go to where they want to go within broadcast. And that's one of the biggest, and that's what TMOD has to, I, I come to the conclusion now that that's what TMOD is supposed to be. When I got that call years ago from a woman saying, Cato, you have no idea what you're doing, but continue doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And for that, with that being the case, I believe being a platform is what TMOD is supposed to be doing. So that's, we're going to be playing music, we're going to be talking, we, I'm not even calling it talk radio, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to chat radio, you know what I'm saying, people can chat and, and grow and work together and, and, and keep continuing the building in this village. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you.